Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Edwards Air Force Base completes eight-day drone test flight. Also, Honda introduces plans for hybrid EV toll transport, and Bell Autonomous Pod Transport Test drops cargo. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Edwards Air Force Base completes eight-day drone test flight. A final flight time of eight days, 50 minutes, and 47 seconds covering 12,200 miles of continuous flight was achieved when the vanilla unmanned prototype ISR UAS touched down on October 2nd. It created the newest world record for unrefueled internal combustion endurance of an unmanned aircraft. The ETCTF has been essential to the development of vanilla's prototype drone aircraft, trying to create a cost effective airborne intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance demands for long-term periods aloft. Created by Platform Aerospace, a small business from Hollywood, Maryland, they partnered with the 412th Test Wing to launch the aircraft from the seminal testing location, Rogers Dry Lake Bed, on September 24th. Prior records fell short of the eight-day mark, the most recent completing five days of flight while uplinked with high-definition electro-optical and infrared video to a command and control satellites beyond visual range. These capabilities are promising for those eager to get a low-cost, ultra-endurance ISR asset to the warfighter that can carry real mission payloads, as described by Platform Aerospace CEO. The system that flew these last three days costs less than what DOD pays for some ordinance. After the break, Honda introduces plans for hybrid eVTOL transport. More news after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're gonna hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Jaunt Air Mobility to merge with Aero Group. Jaunt Air Mobility has announced its upcoming merger with the Aero Group, a composite of six aerospace businesses focused in the AAM market. Jaunt has found its niche in the global eVTOL AAM market, specifically when using its patented slow rotor compound technology. SRC slows the rotation of the rotor once aloft, reducing drag, vibration, and noise while in cruise. With a streamlined fuselage and efficient wing, the journey, the jaunt's entry into the AAM market is said to have nearly imperceptible rotor noise. Mars Helicopter Chief Highlighted at NBAA 2021. Teddy Zanetto's operations lead for the Ingenuity Mars helicopter at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was a featured speaker at NBAA base. His team sent their small helicopter 
the Ingenuity aboard the Mars Perseverance rover on a 36-mile journey for what they thought would be a short 30-minute proof-of-concept demonstration. After enduring a hard, bone-shaking landing, the flyweight helicopter took off for the first time in April. It broke records as the first extraterrestrial-powered flight only to soldiers onwards beyond any initial expectations. Flapper Skyports Choose Electra Eastall Electra Arrow recently secured purchase commitments for 180 of the company's hybrid Eastall aircraft. The deals taken together are worth more than $500 million over the coming years. Electra's newest agreements have been signed with Skyports, Australia Advanced Air Mobility Infrastructure Development Specialist, and Flapper, a Latin American on-demand private aviation platform. Electra's hybrid electric aircraft is a good fit for these operations, able to carry seven passengers or 1,800 pounds of cargo up to 500 miles in all weather conditions. Bepi Colombo sends first shots of Mercury. The ESA's exploration of Mercury announced another successful waypoint on October 1st as the Bepi Colombo mission returned its first photographs of the planet's surface. The probe represents a joint collaboration between ESA and its Japanese counterpart, the Aerospace Exploration Agency. Launched in 2018, it is currently en route to the smallest, least explored terrestrial planet in the solar system to carry out a full analysis of its composition, magnetosphere, and inner workings. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Honda introduces plans for a hybrid eVTOL transport. Honda Motor Company recently released its ambitious 2030 vision in a series of changes and projects geared towards future-proofing the company by integrating its wide range of expertise in combustion, electrics, aeronautics, and robotics into a series of products suited for a rapidly changing economy. Central to their new mobility ecosystem will be the hybrid gas turbine and electrically powered vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Currently the Honda eVTOL. Designed for local city transportation, features a simple, robust structure, decentralized propulsion system, and relatively a quiet arrangement of smaller diameter rotors. Honda notes their break from the competition in relying on hybrid power. Unlike similar aerial mobility aircraft, Honda believes an old battery or electric aircraft would face range issues that would hamper its mobility and limit it to intra-city transportation. As part of their theoretical ecosystem, the eVTOL would be able to take off and land in the middle of a city without the noise or physical footprint of current small aircraft. Honda's eVTOL could reach the market just in time to compete against fellow automakers Hyundai, Toyota, and General Motors in the aerial mobility segment. Test flights are expected within the next three years with hopes for certification by 2030. After these messages, Bell conducts autonomous pod transport test. That video after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Bell Autonomous Pod Transport Test drops cargo. 
Bell's Autonomous Pod Transport, or APT, has proved its conceptual packed mule capabilities after airdropping test supplies successfully. An unmanned VTOL quad rotor, the APT is designed to carry two standard tactical packs, each carrying up to 60 pounds, with a max payload of 100 pounds, ranging from ammunition, water, medical supplies, batteries, or fuel. The capability to flexibly resupply personnel with minimum impact to transit is one of the hallmarks of drone tasking. It can drop the bags over separate locations if needed. The convenient vertical takeoff feature will allow for smaller drop zone, allowing troops to come in closer to retrieve their supplies, as well as maintain their concealment. The APT is designed to hover over the target while detaching the packs, dropping them from the air in order to save battery power, minimize noise takeoff power settings, and lessen the ease of identifying dug in troops should its approach be seen. Flying out of Yuma, Camp Lejeune, and Fort Benning, the ABT program has completed more than 420 test flights and should reach its next milestone by early 2022. Current development goals include more precise aerial drops while flying at its 70 knot cruise. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.